On a sunny afternoon, Flower Duck rode his beloved scooter in a joyful circle in the forest. The wind blew through his soft feathers, lifting and flipping his plumes as if they were a colorful kite dancing in the sky. A light laughter came, and Flower Duck realized that his friends' houses were scattered in the depths of the forest. He stopped his scooter and curiously admired each unique and beautiful house. The long-eared rabbit's big mushroom house looked like it had jumped out of a fairy tale book, with its long ears at the top swaying in the breeze. The big-tailed squirrel's tree cave house skillfully blends into the shadows of the trees as if it were part of nature. Chubby Bear's large cave looks cozy and comfortable. Gray magpie's twiggy nest shimmers and glistens in the sunlight. Flowery Duck was fascinated by the uniqueness of these houses and was envious. He said to himself, Gosh, my house is so ordinary. It's just a nest of hay under a big tree. I'll have to build a special house for that. One evening, while Flower Duck was still thinking about what his house should look like, it happened that long-eared rabbit passed gracefully under the tree. She stepped lightly on the green grass, and her long ears waved gently in the breeze. Seeing the hesitant look on Flower Duck's face, the long-eared rabbit walked over and said softly, Hey, Flower Duck, why do you look a little sad? Is something bothering you? Flowering Duck lifted his head, looked at Long-Eared Rabbit and sighed softly, I think my house is too ordinary. Everyone has such a beautiful house and I only have a humble hay nest. The Long-Eared Rabbit patted his big ears as he said soothingly, Don't feel bad. I can help you build a mushroom house just like mine. That way you'll have a cozy little home too. Flower Duck nodded and looked at Long-Eared Rabbit gratefully, a wave of emotion welling up in his heart. While Flower Duck and Long-Eared Rabbit were talking, Big-Tailed Squirrel jumped down from the tree and stood deftly in front of Flower Duck. He smiled and said, Hey, Flower Duck, I can help you to build a tree hole house as strong as my house. That way your house will still be strong in stormy weather. Flower Duck nodded happily and felt a warmth in his heart. The concern of his friends made him feel that the world was full of warmth. Chubby Bear Ground walked to the side of the Flower Duck and said, Why don't we use the cave as a house, warm in winter and cool in summer? How cozy are! I can take you to find a suitable cave. Flower Duck looked at the long-eared rabbit's mushroom house, the big-tailed squirrel's tree hole house, the fat bear's cave, all very tempting, but he always felt a little hesitant. Just then, a clear bird call rang out, and the gray magpie flew to Flower Duck and perched on the branch. She said cheerfully, Flowering Duck, Flowering Duck, why don't you build your nest on a branch like me, and you can still enjoy the scenery in the distance, which is also very nice. Flowering Duck listened to everyone's suggestions and became even more torn in his mind. He looked around at his enthusiastic friends and pondered, 
Everyone is so eager to help me. What kind of house should I build to suit myself? The flowering duck, the long-eared rabbit, the gray magpie, and other small animals were arguing passionately. Each one arguing for the ideal house in his mind. Just then, a sound of heavy footsteps came, and everyone stopped arguing at once and looked in the direction from which the sound came. It turned out to be Brother Elephant, his tall body pulling a small wooden house through the area. Brother Elephant held the little house high in the air and asked, "This is the house I just learned to make today. Will you see if it is both rough and ugly?" When Flower Duck saw this, he stopped arguing and rushed to Brother Elephant. Flower Duck said enthusiastically, "Brother Elephant." Your craftsmanship is really good. This is rough, but full of character. The long-eared rabbit joined in the compliments. The house is a bit rough, but it's very small, and you'll certainly do even better in the future. The gray magpie jumped up in the tree and said, "Yes." Yes, I trust you for sure. As soon as the elephant heard this praise, he placed the little wooden house on the ground. The elephant smiled happily. Thank you. Your words have not only increased my faith, but also subsided my fatigue. Chubby Bear cheerfully suggested. Why don't we decorate the house Brother Elephant made and give it to Flower Duck for a house? Everyone cheered along at his words, filled with enthusiasm and unity. The elephant nodded his head in agreement. This will be shelter from the wind and rain, and it's also beautiful. He happily pushed the little wooden house in front of everyone with a look of open-mindedness. Flowery Duck happily said repeatedly, "Thank you, thank you. You guys are so nice." His eyes were filled with gratitude and joy as he felt warm and cozy from the love and care of his friends. The group said that they would act immediately. But when faced with the problem of decorating the house, they fell into a pause of thought. At that moment, a green turtle sleeping by the river suddenly heard their conversation and woke up. The green turtle slowly came over and looked at everyone's hesitant expression. The green turtle smiled and said. The other day, my turtle friend who lives in the sea brought me many beautiful shells, so I can send some to you to decorate your house. When Flower Duck heard this offer, there was a flash of surprise in his eyes. He hurriedly said to the green turtle, "I love it. Thank you so much." So everyone followed the green turtle to the river and found a beautiful treasure trove of shells. There were colorful shells, crystal clear shells, and all kinds of shells of different shapes. The group excitedly picked out the shells, and everyone found a favorite decoration for Flower Duck's new house. The shells given by Green Turtle were skillfully decorated on the outside of the house. Chubby Bear delicately hangs a colorful shell in front of the door of the house. The long-eared rabbit, on the other hand, 
made a beautiful decorative chain with a string of small shells. The gray magpie flew up high and skillfully nestled a bright shell on the eaves of the little house. Just as everyone was laughing, the big-tailed squirrel came jumping happily, carrying a piece of bright, clear glass in its mouth. The big-tailed squirrel said happily, I have found this big piece of glass. Let's install it on the window of the little house, so that flower duck can see the beautiful scenery outside. Everyone agreed, so the windows of the little house were carefully installed with the big transparent and bright glass. Suddenly, the little house glowed with a dazzling light, as if it were a treasure chest full of magic. Ah! This was even better. Flower Duck finally had a beautiful shell house. Flower Duck couldn't help but cheer and look gratefully at the ingenuity and dedication of his friends. Daffodil Duck carefully moved his hayloft into the brand new house. The warmth of the sunlight streaming through the large glass windows on Flower Duck's bed is so warm and cozy that he is mesmerized. The shell house, decorated by his friends, becomes a harbor for his soul. Flower Duck was excited to ride his scooter in a bigger circle in the forest. Wherever he goes, he proudly says, I have a shell house built with love. The shell room is warm and cozy and covered with the smell of love. His voice echoed throughout the forest as if he was carrying a message of friendship and joy. From then on, Flower Duck's beautiful shell house became a unique sight in the forest and a symbol of the friend's common struggle and care. In this cozy hut, Flower Duck's heart is full of gratitude and happiness. He knows that with such a group of good friends, his shell house has become so special. Soft. 